As a new shooter, you may hear a lot of things about different guns that some of your friends may own. Um, you know, you maybe get questioned, what kind of gun do you have or what kind of gun are you planning on purchasing? And there's all different kinds of different styles of guns and the way they operate. And Jake, we've got a few different options here on the table. Why don't you help explain us to the new gun owners what we have here on the table and the different styles of actions that are out there. Sure, Ben, and you know, you make a great point. You know, there can be a lot of confusion for anybody coming into this, right? We have, we have on the, the simple end, we have the break open like you got here on the, on the upper end of stuff, we got a semi-automatic shotgun. So, um, you know, I think it's important for everybody to keep in mind that even no matter what caliber you have or what, you know, shot shell or what rimfire cartridge you're using, there's probably going to be an action that fits that. So there's gonna be a pump, there's gonna be a break open, there's gonna be a semi-auto and a bolt action for all of these. So when you talk about break open, what's that mean? Like, can you kind of explain to us what a break open, particularly in a shotgun, is usually what you're talking about a break open. Can you explain that a little bit? Sure, I mean, typically in a shotgun situation, we're gonna see something just like you see on the table here, an over under shotgun. Um, you know, they do make these in single shots. I mean, I started with a single shot uh, 20 gauge, you know, so um, still the same kind of action with a break open, but they're simple, straightforward. You always know where it's unloaded. You know, you always know where the barrel's at. Just a great option uh, for a new shooter thinking to go, you know, out and break some targets or going out and even do a little hunting. Yeah, and usually with the break opens, you're going to have two shots. There are some break opens with one, um, but a lot of these other shotguns, the shotgun up here that I have, this is actually a semi-auto. So a semi-auto works a little bit differently in that you can fit three shells in here. Both of these work every time you pull the trigger versus, say, like a pump shotgun where you actually have to pump it for each time that you shoot it. But there's semi-autos, as you said, in shotguns as well as rifles. So MSR rifles, those are semi-automatic rifles. Um, this is a semi-automatic shotgun, oftentimes used for either target shooting or this particular one for waterfowl hunting. You know, I think it, you made a great point there, Ben. Like all of these and all these actions, you know, they have applications for both hunting and for target shooting. I mean, you know, take this 22 right here. Um, you know, this is a Wildcat semi-automatic, um, great, everyday gun to go to the range. I mean, you can just you know, pound rimfire through this, you know? Um, but you can also take it out there and shoot rabbits and squirrels. Uh, it was just a really great all-around gun. Still though, an a semi-automatic, just like you got right up there with that shotgun. Yeah, when Jake says semi-automatic, that means for each trigger pull, you're gonna get one shot. Um, this rifle right here is actually a bolt action rifle. And so you actually have to work that bolt after each shot. Um, you can actually see there's just a big bolt in there. Um, there's bolt action rifles in rifle, rimfire, as well as shot shell. So um, across all of these platforms, all these different action styles can be found. Some are more common than others within there, you know, um, but you certainly can find them across all, all the different styles of guns. You know, Ben, we've covered a lot of great topics here. Um, and if you out there have any more questions or continue you want to know about the different types of guns, go to winchester.com for more videos just like this.